Hello, my amazing children. This is Grandma Carla, and I am back to read with you a Henry and Mudge book. Henry and Mudge and the Great Grandpas. And Henry and Mudge is by Cynthia Ryland, one of my favorite authors. And now, let's read Henry and Mudge and the Great Grandpas. Grandpas. On a sunny summer day, Henry and Henry's dog Mudge went to Henry's parents to vi went with Henry's parents to visit Great Grandpa Bill. Great -gra Grandpa Bill was very old. He lived in a house with a lot of other grandpas. Henry liked them. He liked their checker games and their rocking chairs and their walking canes. So let's show you some of the pictures here. So here's a picture of them going to visit at the house with many grandpas. And here is their picture of their checker games and their walking canes and their rocking chairs. Mudge liked the grandpas too. He liked the little mints they carried in their pockets. When they arrived at Great Grandpa Bill's house, Henry gave everyone a present. He always brought presents for the grandpas. He brought books and magazines. He brought butterscotch candies. He brought crossword puzzles and poker cards. The grandpas loved him. See, he's bringing them gifts and they love their gifts. They loved Mudge, too. They petted Mudge, and when they were tired, they rested on him. Mudge didn't mind. He liked tired grandpas. While Henry's father and mother went in the house to visit with all of the grandpas, Henry and Mudge set off exploring. Look at one of the grandpas resting on Mudge. There's all of them hugging. Great Grandpa Bill's house was near the woods, and Henry couldn't wait to have fun outside. Let's go, Mudge, he said. So while everyone played checkers and cards, Henry and Mudge went looking for adventure. See all of the rocking chairs on the porch where the grandpas live? A pond! Henry and Mudge went, walked through the crunchy woods Mudge sniffed the logs. He ate sticks. He disappeared in the bushes. They're exploring, aren't they? Henry climbed on stumps. He swung on trees. He peeked in little dens. He is having a really good time, isn't he? They both are. Then Henry saw a clearing. This way, Mudge! Henry and Mudge ran to the clearing. It was beautiful. There were meadows and flowers, birds and butterflies, and a swimming pond. See how pretty? A pond, Mudge, said Henry. Mudge wagged and wagged. They ran to the side of the pond. Henry tested the water. Just right for swimming. But Henry knew they couldn't swim yet. No swimming alone was one of his parents' big rules. Let's go get Dad and swim, Mudge. Henry said Mudge was ready. He was perfect at dog paddling. But he's remembering the rules. No swimming alone. Because you swim in alone, you don't have anybody to take care of you if you get into trouble. Skivvies. When Henry told his parents about the pond, not only did Henry's dad want to swim, but great grandpa did too. And so did the other grandpas. They all wanted to go to the swimming pond. 
There they are, all playing checkers, but now they're going to go to the swimming pond. We'll have to go in our skivvies, said Henry's father. What skivvies? asked Henry. Underwear, said his father. Henry looked at his mother. No girls allowed, Mom, Henry said. Henry's mother smiled. Anyway, she said, I was going to make spaghetti for the grandpas. I don't think mom minds not going swimming. Then let's go, said Henry. Henry and Henry's father and Henry's big dog Mudge and all of the grandpas went to the swimming pond. It took a while to get there. The grandpas had to stop and rest on Mudge sometimes. It's a long way for those grandpas. When everyone got to the clearing, Great Grandpa Bill said, Holy cow! And all of the grandpas pulled off their pants and went swimming in their underwear. Henry and Henry's dad did, too. Look at all of the grandpas swimming in the water. You know what? As old as they are, they used to be little boys, didn't they? And little boys like to swim in a pond. And there's Mudge. Mudge gave rides to the grandpas who got tired. Instead of a life raft, Mudge is a live raft, said Henry's father. Henry giggled. Everyone swam for an hour, and then they lay in the sun. See them all lying there? And there's Mudge giving a grandpa a ride. The grandpas told stories about being in the Navy, or working for the railroad, or driving taxis. One grandpa had been a singer, and he sang them a little song. Sometimes we don't think that the old people used to be young people who did very many interesting things. It's good to remember. The pond was shiny, the sun was warm, the grass was soft. Henry and Mudge and everyone there felt happy. See the turtle and the dragonflies? Full and happy. It took a while to get back to Great Grandpa Bill's house. The grandpas had to rest on Mudge even more. Mudge didn't mind. They're all dressed again, ready to go home and have some food. I bet they're hungry. Aren't you hungry after you go swimming? When they got to the house, Henry's mother had a big pot of spaghetti ready. Everyone ate and ate and ate. All of the grandpas loved spaghetti, especially those without teeth. After dinner, Everyone sat on the porch in the rocking chairs. Everyone was full and happy. Look at all that spaghetti. You see the picture? They're eating the spaghetti and sitting in the rocking chairs full and happy. The grandpas grew quiet. Some slept and as the sun slowly set, Henry and Mudge rested, glad for a grandpa house. And that is the end of the story. They all had a great day. And this is Grandma Carla, and I love you.